Let me bring in my guests. Lieutenant General Sayyid Atta Hasnan is joining me live. You also have General Satish Dua, uh, SP Vaid, former DGP of Jammu and Kashmir. Major General Sanjay is joining me. Also, Major General Major Yash Moore, who is a defense analyst. General Hasnan, beginning with you, could we see India retaliate since the handlers of these terror modules are all sitting in Pakistan? Uh, thank you, Baria. Thank you for inviting me for your show. I've got a short time with you. So I will try and make use of that before I have to leave. Uh, as to your question, first of all, let me start by expressing my deep regrets for the loss of lives and that too of senior officers and in a case like this. But uh, as to your question, how many times are you going to retaliate? If you find that you have crossed the threshold, if the, uh, the, the, the enemy has crossed the threshold in your assessment, go ahead, we should do it. We did it in case of Pulawama, we did it in the case of Uri. Now, we didn't do it in the case of the loss of five paratroopers, SF people in uh, the Rajori forest, five Sikh Alai soldiers or other Sikh regiment soldiers before that. There will be more operations, there will be casualties, many terrorists will be killed, we will lose some men. What I'm trying to say is that you have to have a strategy. You can't have these knee-jerk reactions and a demand from the people of India to conduct an operation and the government of India goes there and conduct it. No, it's not done like that. Hmm. You have to think through this. Let these operations complete. There are operations going on at the moment. Uh, I wish to correct uh, Nazir Masoodi. These operations do not cease and they resume next morning. These operations are 24-7. They will carry on. Maybe you cannot send up your uh, quadcopters and things like that. No one sleeps at night. These corporations are on. 24-7, they will continue. Our, we have unfortunately had an encounter in which we have lost a commanding officer, another officer, and a, 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 a Jammu and Kashmir police officer. Last, we had four years ago, or three years ago, in 2020, we had the CEO of 21RR, similarly, who also died of his wounds after having uh, been fired upon in, in, a, in a, a major operation. So this kind of a thing is there. It happens because our officers are known and reputed to be right in front in the conduct of operations. This was a tactical operation in which the company commander had got all the intelligence. And when you have definite specific intelligence, the commanding officer definitely would join into the operation to make sure there is a 100% effectiveness of the operation. That's exactly what has happened. But unfortunately, that intelligence was not absolutely specific. They have managed to come up to the area and when they were searching it, they were fired upon. They were fired upon because the terrorists have the initiative and they can, they are watching you, they are static, they can see you and they will probably fire first. In that first volley of fire, they have been fortunate that they managed to get our commanding officer and two other officers. That's the long and short of this whole operation. Yes. Now, the build-up, which will take place further, Hmm. I hope that these two terrorists will be neutralized and then the government of India will have to take a decision at this stage. Are we willing to escalate? Would we like to do it trans NC right across the line of control? Would we like to do it deeper? Would you like to do it with artillery, with missile fire? That's for the government of India to decide. I don't think we really can discuss options out here because we are not fully empowered. We do not have the full knowledge of what's happened on ground. Okay, General Hasnan, I know you have to head for another show. So before I let you go, a quick word on uh, have the terrorists started changing their tack? See, for a long time, and I'm sure my colleagues will agree with me, the terrorist strength has reduced drastically in the valley. And as a result, you will not find uh, uh, targeting or offensive operations uh, by the terrorists against the army or the police forces unless you have very, very soft targets like men on leave, a policeman um, operating uh, uh, single-handedly in some place or some minority elements, Kashmiri pundits or um, migrant people and things like that. That's the kind of what I call criminal kind of operation that they will conduct. But to come up front and contact the army, carry out an operation against the army or the police, I don't think they can do it. In this case too, it's not as if the terrorists came forward and attacked the army. They were in hiding. It is we who are searching. Because we are on the offensive, we are always searching. And success is mostly ours. 95% cases, the success is by the army. In 5% cases, we do lose 
soldiers, we lose officers, but that's a part of the deal, that's a part of the operational environment. All right, uh, let me bring in uh, uh, SP Ved. Mr. Ved, you have spoken about a compromised source leading the officers of the 19 Rashtriya Rifle and the DSP of Jammu and Kashmir to this location and then being uh, ambushed leading to their martyrdom. This is a serious claim because it also points to local complicity in this act of terror. Do you want to elaborate why you said what you said? Uh, Maria, Maria, good evening uh, uh, to you and the viewers and my esteemed colleagues uh, on the panel. And uh, uh, first, uh, my tribute to those uh, who laid down their life for the country. Uh, see, what I said is out of my experience. Most of the time uh, we have seen such uh, sources are compromised. They have, uh, uh, it could be, uh, I said, uh, those who are investigating the case need to look into this aspect also and see whether the source who brought this information was compromised. Did he drew the officers for a maximum uh, casualty of the senior officers towards the hideout? Or uh, was it uh, the source was uh, uh, not compromised? That aspect needs to be seen. Another point which uh, I wanted to make is it, uh, you know, whenever Cardon is laid, uh, laid out, uh, it, it, it has to be a surprise element. Otherwise, terrorists would escape. They would not stay, continue to stay in the hideout. And uh, was that surprise element missing? Or was the timing and the route of the, uh, security, force, the uh, security force party, uh, the army and police party uh, known to the terrorist? Was it uh, disclosed? Was it uh, uh, a, a, a deliberate uh, a planned ambush? on the uh, approaching party to inflict maximum damage and uh, uh, and eliminate the uh, leadership so uh, so that the whole narrative of kashmir valley could be changed particularly after the uh, g20 success of the uh, and uh, india taking a world stage so uh, i i i think these aspects need to be looked into and uh, the other point which i am seeing is Look at uh, the operations uh, which are happening in last uh, about a year in Rajouri Punch. Most of them, I think, uh, 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 the uh, the strategy has been changing over the over a period of time. You saw uh, after terrorists suffering a lot of uh, losses in uh, Operation All Out uh, since 2017. Uh, they uh, about three years back resorted to targeted killings and after that uh, when uh, security forces were able to uh, uh, have an upper hand on that uh, now uh, they have realized that uh, staying in uh, uh, inhabited areas they have very little chance of escaping and getting killed so i i think uh, the pattern both in rajouri punch and uh, this yesterday's attack hmm. looks like that uh, they are resorting to uh, hideouts in the forest come out, something guerrilla warfare, uh, uh, cause maximum damage to the army or the police, and go back to their hideouts. Okay. And uh, uh, that uh, pattern actually is uh, uh, quite apparent from Rajouri Poonch attack and also yesterday's attack in Anantana. Okay. Uh, General Dua, your thoughts on this? There were multiple intelligence reports, both from local police and central agencies, there were inputs over multiple days that these terrorists were holed up. The commanding officer of RR himself led the men, um, you know, but still we lost uh, three brave officers. You think we need a better integrated approach or this is an aberration, a case of we missing the target? One of those unfortunate times, the terrorists got the better of us. Uh, Maria, I would also like to begin with Paying a tribute, first of all, to the three fallen soldiers. Uh, having said that, well, it was an intelligence-based operation, that's for sure. Like Mr. Bats uh, has a suspicion that it might be compromised source uh, who may have brought information to them. Whether or not that is true, 
uh, I will at the expense of reputation. It was an intelligence based operation. Only then you would have the commanding officer uh, going along uh, or, or or leading the operation because they were very sure of, of, of terrorists being in a certain place. I, as a commanding officer, have led many such operations uh, and I realized that's that's the way it would have it would have happened. So, uh, but uh, and that's that's how the DSP also um, accompanied them uh, because all the operations in JNK are joint operations between Army uh, oblique RR and and the police. But uh, somewhere, either the the terrorists have gotten a wind of it or the uh, 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 the source was compromised. Either way, what has happened is that they've opened fire on our uh, uh, security forces before the cordon could be established. So perhaps they got lucky that in the first uh, volley of shots, the first exchange of fire, they've hit the leadership um, uh, of the operation and we lost three brave hearts. Hmm. Uh, but having said that, that's the tactics of the operation. Allow me also to say... Uh, there might be some repetition here, but allow me also to say that uh, over the last three years, as the parameters are getting better, when I was the core commander, uh, uh, there was there was so much violence, there was so much stone pelting, there was uh, puns, hartals, schools being closed. Today, all the parameters are improving. There is uh, life is getting back to normalcy, as it were. So there is a there is an uh, uh, and a drive on the part of Pakistan, on the part of the terrorist regimes, to let that feeling not set in, that feeling of normalcy. And they want to, they want to continue to create a little, instill some fear in the minds. To do that, like Mr. Vaid said, uh, they're changing the tactics to go into the mountains and jungles, because as you see Rajori Punch, where operations are going on, and over here, uh, it is mountains and jungles that are being targeted. Okay. So, uh, uh, allow me to just end by saying go ahead this kind of thing will be avenged 19 rr who lost a commanding officer and a company commander is a very fine unit when i was a core commander during that time this is the unit that had eliminated burhan wani the tactics of it these two terrorists i'm sure will be will be uh, will be eliminated but we have to um, make sure that we yeah, uh, use technical enablers in a better manner. I understand there are constraints in, in, the, in the thick of the jungles, but we have to get some better intelligence and follow our SOPs. You know, Major General Yashmore, the point being made here, I'm going to take that thought a little forward with you. Six days ago, Riaz Ahmed alias Abu Qasim, top terrorist who's aff affiliated with lashkar e taiba wanted in India for attack in Dhangiri village of Rajori was shot dead. This was fourth such killing of wanted terrorists in POK in recent times. It is being believed that this was a retaliatory strike. Uh, could that be the case? Do these terror groups still have the infrastructure to strike with impunity? Um, first of all, thank you for inviting me. Uh, I have been a Kokarna company commander. And I was personally in touch with Major Ashish, having been command, uh, you know, the same company commander 20 years back, and still having connections and you know, with the uh, contact with the Awam there, with the young people, young children, because that's the kind of uh, efforts 36 RR would put in before uh, 19 RR came and took over this area sometimes in 2019. So I understand that area. I have walked miles and miles in this area for two years, and uh, Myra, we had absolutely finished the Lashkar. Harkatul jihad e islami and HM in small team operations in Sari Tanzimo ki humne kamar tod ke rakh di thi us time pe. Now, my care of militancy has changed. I understand terrorism has changed. And 19 RR is an outstanding unit. Out, and both these officers, the commanding officer, Manpreet, and the company commander, Major Ashish, have already done about a year and a half there. They understand the people. They have a good internet work. They are totally seasoned soldiers. They cannot make a mistake easily. So whatever has happened, it's just unfortunate we have taken a hit. And I'm sure uh, a 19 RR, the Indian Army, we have the technology, we have the people with us. That is the one thing I, I want to tell you. The people of Kokarnag uh, immediately closed down the market today. And they were standing on the road with pictures of this heroes 
ऑन द प्लेक कार्ड्स ये मैंने पहले कश्मीर में नहीं देखा ब्लैक फ्लैग्स बीइंग वेव्ड टू द व्हीकल्स ऑन दिस इन द एंटायर स्ट्रेच एंड देयर इज अ नैरो स्ट्रेच व्हिच कनेक्ट्स खानाबल अनंतनाग कोकरनाग गोस टू वेलू एंड देन फ्रॉम वेलू वन रोड लीड्स टू दक्षुम एंड सिंतन पास एंड अदर लीड्स टू गडोल एंड दिस ऑपरेशन वेयर इट इज टेकन दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वेरी फ्यू पीपल लिव देयर इट इज ब्रोकन टेरेन वेरी टफ टेरेन road also exists only for a short while after that it's thick jungles and uh, you are under uh, uh, observation all the time if you walk on that particular road so what has happened i don't want to go into the details but the very fact is that uh, these three officers including the police officer jnk police officer brave people brave soldiers leading from the front now i don't want to get into zingoism or rhetoric army will take a call we will understand this operation what has gone wrong uh and and then analyze it and in a very uh, cool and calm manner i think uh, 19 rr very quickly will avenge this that is one part now pakistan you are aware even uh, the two core commanders spoke of this situation in valley has undergone a drastic change and so anything i don't think they planned this and got them there and it just happened it just happened i think so uh, one of bad days uh, in field it can happen to any any force so but Uh, there is a tendency if it's happening in rajouri it's happening otherwise south kashmir anantnag these areas and kokarnag is one of the most beautiful gardens you can see in entire kashmir yes, so beautiful of major general yashmur i was in in uh, this uh, area pahalgam and anantnag only just couple of weeks ago and the change that you see in this entire area is visible it's transformed uh, there are not Absolutely. too many army columns either there are young people uh, you know moving Maria around this, this is almost like a peaceful normal city people who wish to city. become officers in the army i am telling you we are mentoring large number of young people in anantnag and baram in this entire stretch who wish to become officers in the army so i see a big change among the young people of the older generation so pakistan will try i am sure uh, uh, we will get back and uh, but we should not get uh, uh, you know as jan asnan said get into any retaliatory mode immediately we must uh, uh, take a step back analyze the and use technology we have drones now we have quadcopters now hmm. i'm sure these guys can't get off with, uh, get away from this area with the kind of forces we have in that area i'm sure in a day or two you'll hear we have eliminated and uh, you know send these guys okay. to the place they belong to major general mestron thank you so much for your patience you have served in afghanistan and have been part of several delegations in this region as well there is great churn which is happening both in afghanistan and pakistan occupied kashmir in fact um, as we speak there is great trust deficit also between taliban and the regime in pakistan uh, you know the churn which is happening in baluchistan and others how do you see all this affecting security situation in jammu and kashmir region and in particular uh, you know when we look at that region and also india as a whole Uh, Maria, good evening. And uh, firstly, the nation pays uh, salute or salute to the true martyrs of the country. They are the true heroes. Uh, you have raised a very pertinent issue of Afghanistan, Pakistan, and so forth. Uh, see, having served in that area and also four ten years in JNK, I am quite convinced that the Pakistan will continue to resort to its terrorist activities. That, that is the main agenda. And when I say Pakistan, I imply Pakistan Army and the ISI. That is uh, the whole theme. and why they are doing it let's be very clear because they could never tolerate a strong india and a strong afghanistan on both sides and therefore their intent was to weaken and finish up afghanistan and also uh, create chaos on the uh, indian side along the borders of india jammu and kashmir and also in punjab and subsequently they are indulging in narco terrorism or uh, putting drugs inside a country so this has been their strategy and of course the durand line issue is well known Uh, the kashmir issue they keep up uh, raising because they are actually countering the durand line issue in fact india strategy should be we have to uh, counter the durand line issue because that is not the border between the, the then british india and the pakistan the afghanistan so that is their whole, whole strategy and india strategy again needs to be very very clear firstly we need to actually now all uh, we are in a position of strength as on date whether it is economic position whether it is g20 the successful we have done today pakistan is a nation which is isolated and if you see there only one all weather friend is china and recently the chinese have posted a new ambassador to taliban run uh, afghanistan so what i am trying to highlight is 
that uh, india now needs to leverage its all advantages let us not uh, resort to direct warfare let us resort to indirect warfare pakistan army in india is resorting to indirect warfare by using terrorists is the pakistan army getting involved no they are saving their casualties india can therefore do lots and we have large number of assets on the afghanistan border who are ready to do something and let's hit the pakistan army let's teach the enemy the way they should learn and that should be a strategy so pakistan will continue uh, today the good thing is uh, we have uh, already resorted to the imac corridor so saudi arabia uae these were the states which were also funding them now that would cease so that is something very good the national investigative agency is doing an excellent job and large number of issues have happened where the narco terror funding has actually uh, quite uh, come down and in the last 3 4 years we see terrorism has come down and another thing i would like to highlight that we have to focus as a strategy on the youth of kashmir they are our own country people and let me tell you the director general national credit core this is one of the biggest assets in our country and today in kashmir the ncc is one of the most preferred choices today you have women yes. uh, and the young student joining to uh, waiting to join the ncc for a vacancy of about 125 cadets are applying many school institutions are waiting to join or apply for ncc so this is very good thing and today kashmiri students and the youth from india are visiting kashmir Visibly. and 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 that change of transformation is visible on ground and i'll agree with major general yash mor when he says that that imagery of the people of anantnag coming out and say uh, with posters becomes very very important they are standing up against terrorists and saying that this is not okay that you cannot do what you did thank you so much for your time lieutenant general uh, atasnan lieutenant general satish dua sp vaid major general sanjay mestone and major general yashmore thank you for sharing your thoughts